Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is sudo bulbar policy. Uh, but before st uh, starting I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area. Now I come to the topic pseudo bulbar palsy and its alternative name is uh, uh, involuntary emotional expression disorder uh, in this video i'm going to discuss about uh, its uh, introduction causes symptoms diagnosis treatment uh, etc you know uh, you know pseudo bulbar palsy uh, is a condition that uh, affects your ability to control the muscles in your face uh, including jaw so the muscle uh, in your mouth uh, and your throat can also be affected so it can have a big impact on your everyday life and it can affect your ability to speak uh, it can affect your ability to eat or maybe swallow you know so it has a serious impact on your daily life and uh, in addition to these symptoms uh, you may experience uncontrollable uh, crying or laughing at inappropriate times. So this is known as a pseudo bulbar effect or maybe the emotional uh, incontinence. So pseudo bulbar palsy is uh, common in stroke patients and those with the neurological disorders such as uh, uh, amyotrophic uh, lateral sclerosis, you know, or maybe multiple sclerosis, known as uh, ALS and uh, MS. Uh, the next thing is about uh, uh, what are the symptoms of the, uh, this condition. Well, if you have the pseudobulbar palsy, you will have the trouble controlling your facial muscles, including your tongue and some muscles in your neck which are responsible for speaking and for swallowing. So you may also experience uh, the symptoms like uh, uh, like uh, uh, dysarthria which means that uh, or the slow or maybe slurred speech you know a dysphagia which means uh, uh, you will have the difficulty while uh, swallowing the food you know and uh, dysphonia uh, which means the spasm of your vocal cords muscles uh, producing changes in the voice or you may have the speaking uh, issues you know and the emotional uh, like uh, lability or rapid or maybe exaggerated changes in your mood uh, so these are the common symptoms. Uh, the next thing is about what uh, what are the causes. Uh, the most common cause is, uh, are like conditions that affect the uh, nerves that carry the signals from your cerebral cortex uh, to the areas in your lower brain stem. So your cerebral cortex is a section of uh, your brain and uh, it has many jobs you know. And one of them, uh, one of those important jobs is to control your motor function, like uh, as uh, jumping and talking, etc. You know, and the senses as well, like vision or maybe touch or maybe smell. You know, so it has multiple functions, and all the functions are very important. So your brainstem is an area of your nervous system that contains various nerves, and some are very important for controlling certain. Uh, like muscles like uh, those located in your face so when information from your uh, cerebral cortex cannot travel to your brain stem you lose the ability to fully control your face and your uh, emotional expressions as well so pseudobulbar bulbar palsy is most often it's linked to stroke uh, maybe to the motor neuron disease uh, the multiple sclerosis and the cerebrovascular disorders uh, it has some risk factors, you know, so which means that uh, if you have those conditions, you, you're, you're more likely to get this condition. And uh, if you have experienced uh, like any of the conditions like uh, stroke or maybe motor uh, neuron disease or maybe cardiovascular disorders or multiple sclerosis, uh, you are at high risk. Well, uh, you know, if you have a pseudobulbar palsy, uh, your doctor will examine the facial movements. 
uh, emotional expressions, speech. So we will focus on these three uh, functions, you know. And uh, in cases where the primary symptoms like is uh, emotional incontinence, in that case, the pseudobulbar palsy is often misdiagnosed as major depressive disorder. So it's very important. So the doctor may request the imaging of your brain, like CT scan or maybe MRI, and the purpose is to uh, find the reasons for your symptoms or uh, for any underlying neurological condition or disease. You know, so this uh, this is a very important test to, uh, to make the diagnosis. Now, once diagnosed, then uh, uh, the uh, you know there is no treatment or there is no cure for the pseudobulbar palsy. But once you uh, are diagnosed, you may be able your doctor may be able to treat some of the symptoms. And your doctor may recommend like medications or maybe rehabilitative therapies or lifestyle modifications, including like dietary modifications as well as uh, other therapies as well, you know, especially the uh, diet like uh, the foods that are, that are easy to swallow, you know. So your doctor may also prescribe the treatment for underlying cause of your condition. The example is they may prescribe the treatment for stroke, uh, maybe for dementia and maybe for the uh, uh, motor neuron disease, whatever the underlying cause is, you know. So we will treat the underlying cause. So this way, it will we may be able to improve your quality of life, you know. Uh, and the most important thing is about uh, the prognosis, you know, or the outlook, you know. You know, as we know that there is no cure. So, but your doctor can help you to manage your symptoms and in some cases your doctor may prescribe the treatments that uh, address the underlying uh, uh, cause that I just told earlier, you know. And uh, over the time, some of the symptoms may improve and uh, you may experience less stress as uh, your friends and family begin to understand your condition better, you know. And uh, this may also help uh, uh, like to alleviate some of the symptoms as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, please do not forget to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.